complement of sets. So the first thing is we need to introduce some new notation. So the symbol that we're now going to use to represent the universal set, so the main set that we're looking at, is going to be a U. So the universal set is U. And if I could get my pen to stay, that would be even better. But clearly today, it doesn't like me. Okay, so the other bit of notation we have to get used to is the complement of set A. So if we have set A, the complement of that would be A dash. And this is a set of all elements that are in the universal set, which are not in A. So that sounds a little bit confusing, so let's look at it in terms of an example. If I consider this to be my universal set, and in this case I'm looking at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, and if the set A consists of the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 and 8, then the complement of A, which is A dash, are the numbers that we would have to put into A to make up my universal set, or the numbers that I left out of A, which in this case are 2, 4 and 6. Okay, there's also a few other things to think about. If I have my set A and the intersection of that with my complement, A dash, well that's obviously going to be an empty set. There is nothing that I could put in there. Now, let's have a look at my set A and the union of that with the subset of or the complementary set A dash, that has to be the universal set, all the numbers that I actually started with. And the last thing I need to think about are the number, or what I've put here, what are the number, what is the number in my um, subset A dash or the complement of A? So if I look at that, to find it, it has to be the number in my universal set minus the number in the subset. I'm not sure why my pen keeps disappearing. And in this case, if I was looking at just this example, the number in A dash would be 3. The other thing to note is the complement of the universal set U is the empty set. Because the complement of U, anything that's not in my universal set, would have to be nothing, because the universal set is a set that you, is the full set of whatever you are looking at. Now I know this sounds a little bit confusing, but please have a go at the worksheet. I'm sure that by the time you get to the end of it, you'll totally understand it. It's just getting used to this new notation. So you, the universal set, we have a set A, and the complement of that is A dash. So that's all the numbers that would be have to be added to A to make up that universal set. If you have any questions, uh, you know where to find me.